Now, I know, I know, I can't blame anybody but myself, but look what I did. I went and left myself a mess again. Here I am out here working to work, and I am trying to put tools away because somebody was lazy and didn't put everything away. But anyway, welcome to a nice long memorial weekend. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Uh, when this thing runs out of gas, she likes backfiring, and every time it does, it blows my little caps off, and I lost one. So, yes, the plan is oil pan gasket, check the valves, Montana there, uh, spark plugs, the car sitting back out there, check it out, see what's going on with it. Um, yeah, that's just a few of the things that want to accomplish this weekend so and uh oh yeah I'll, I'll go show you that yep my cousin's back again and it looks better than it did there is the transmission with 90 percent of the gunk taken off it so Yeah, if you go by this, you'd swear this car had more than 32,000 miles on when I tore it down, but I don't care what you did. These old 350 turbos were a dirty dog, and he's having fun. Let him out and play. So, yeah. Dodge Stratus ain't here yet. I got to work a few more days, and then I can pick that up. But Well, I'm going to put tools away so we can get them back out. Don't make a lot of sense, does it? But, all right. Warm her up just so I can get the oil out of her. This thing it started spitting and sputtering running, running like a serious mold sewing machine it took the plugs out but I think I done uh, when I sucked the gas out of that the other day I probably sucked up a little water or something she didn't want to run right but back to it now So that carburetor was just laying around. We don't know nothing about it. But she still got a little leaks. I just wanted to warm it up real good to get the oil out of it. And I haven't even got the break-in time on the oil and I've got to throw it away already, so I guess. But that one's the plugs kind of look wet, so that I don't know. I need a new set of plugs, but... And I haven't tried it. Oh, I hope you guys got that up. Right down in front of me. I hope you guys got to see that one. Alright. Well, There we done it. First oil drained out of the motor. And there's what it looks like. Nothing, no metal filings or nothing, which is a very good thing. Now I'm getting ready to drop the pan. But wanted to be doing this a long time ago. But goofy over there, his vehicles. You wanna know what a pain. He says, hey, my tires are. Uh, not doing too good on the front of his van. I don't see this old car of his. It's 
supposed to have an overheating issue. Well, I think we figured out what the problem was. Uh, they changed out thermostat during the winter and uh, it w they didn't get the antifreeze mixed right. But look at this, guys. This, and you notice, nice drag slick there. There's nothing left. Mm -hmm. That one was what the front tires on this looked like. So, since the car still needs work, and it's got a tire on the other side ready to blow out, we decided to steal the back tires and put on here. Well, okay, this went good until we got over to here. Look at in here. This wheel wheel is absolutely soaked. That's all soaked. That's all soaked. It is so soaked that it look what it did to the brake pad. Look at the and those were the brand new brake pads we just put on. Uh, well, fall. last fall or so. So, and we figured out it was this. See, he he had a little catastrophe. Uh, they had trouble getting the oil filter off down there. So they took it to a guy and they, oh, am I zoomed in? No, no. I'm, now when they went to take it to the guy, they towed it to him because they already had the oil out of it. Unfortunately, it hooked on the wrong spot and ripped the radiator and the AC condenser out and yeah. So they had to put a new radiator in. Let's see, so you can see. Where is it? Right down. That fitting right there. Evidently, you gotta put those in. And uh, it was loose. Training fluid was running down that. So I checked his training fluid and his training fluid's low. But he's out of money for the weekend. And I don't have any brake cleaner to clean that brake pad, so we'll have to run. So I figured while we're doing that, I then want to take what little time it's going to take. We'll shut the door down here after this, and uh, we're going to drop this oil pan, change that, because it's the only place they say on that new gasket. Oh, where is it? Give me that box right there, Roger. Uh, yeah, that's his name's Roger, by the way. If anybody, our our his old nickname from school was Shark. We won't tell you how you got that one. <laughs> but anyway, here's that uh, new gasket for the 350, and I got reading here, and it says the only spot. Let's see. The only spot you put any silicone. Oh, here, I'll just flip it over and show you. Maybe. Is right here in the corners. They said very little though. And I didn't realize this thing came with new bolts. Then it's got this fancy thing. You screw those into the four corners. And uh, then you push this up, then you push your pan up, it holds it. You use the bolts that come with it because they are just a little longer than what I'm going to be taking out. And then let's torque them to. These are both eight foot pounds or 10.7 newton meters equals 1 point by 20, the rails. And then the corners are 18 foot pounds. So eight foot pounds for the rails and corners 18 foot pounds. Which I got that, so it'll be 10.7 and 24.3 newton meters. So, I guess we'll get this off. With doing that, then that means I'll be doing the valve covers. I took my uh, little stethoscope thing here, messing around, and sounds like I got a rocker arm ticking here, and two or three on the other side. I could, I kind of know where I got to check now. And once that's done, we'll put her back together, wipe everything down. Yeah, we gotta go get some brake clean because I gotta spray off this where it's. Uh, leak so I know it's getting clean and uh, then we'll uh, run it for a while make sure she's good no more oil leaks I see my water leak has finally stopped here so I, I ain't gonna worry about that and the only thing we'll have to do is get my antifreeze pan my yellow one wherever the hell that is 
get that cleaned up and washed out extremely well because that will be catching the antifreeze that will be going right back into this motor once it's in the car so yeah it's been uh, I got the stuff put away and now we're just trying to uh, yeah that so I guess we better get back at it didn't think soon enough to grab my camera but I'm laying down under here and this is just sweet I mean look at I got room and I don't know where the oil came from up there but uh, this whole front of this was just wet but we'll just go ahead and change it out hard to see you I don't know where the oil was coming from, but huh. we'll change her out anyway, I guess. That's what this stands for, but I decided, hey, I'll lay down, then I'm like, oh yeah, I can see everything now. So, plenty of room. So, Here's a view from under the motor. All right. Oh, yeah. Look back here. Come on. Not wrong in. Look at how clean that is up in there. That's where the oil, I mean, that looks very nice. All right. Well, we'll get the paint off and we'll look up in there and see what we got. Oh, there we go, guys. Looky there. Uh, let's see if I can, there's looking up in the cylinders, look at how, that's a piston, next one, I'll try and do this without getting oil on you guys, where the heck am I, there, I mean there's, no signs of any troubles, I mean, So, well, we got the gasket all off, cleaned off. I might go ahead and pop my flywheel off so I just can do that a little easier. Because I can. It's out there in the middle of nowhere. But there's what we look like underneath. Without the pan, so. I guess we should be ready to go. I'm just going to look her over one more time. Well, I use that. To wash out the pan after I wire brushed off the gasket. Kind of glad I did take the pan all the way off. So this pan, where the oil plug is, it'll hold about a eighth of a quart. And uh, take an air gun and blow this out. Got a little lint from the. Whoa! Yeah, definitely gonna blow it out now. But I went and took the flywheel off. I'm getting ready to install that, so I'm going to read the instructions one more time, and hopefully, I really don't see why that other gasket, well here they are, I'll show you, I'd fall too, uh, really didn't look that bad, but I guess, see, you can see where the oil got around there, it's looking, looking like, the way this oil pan's made, I notice it's a little different than stock. Maybe this uh, rubber one will work. So they put more of a raised bump. And what I'm thinking is that kept it from squeezing. I don't know. But uh, this gasket here, I mean, everybody seems to be having good luck with this one piece, one that I just bought. So well, I didn't just buy, but I've had. So. There it is without the oil pan, so it is the motor. And I do like it like this setup, so. Well, I guess I want to wipe up a couple of oil spots and read the instructions, and uh, maybe we'll start putting it in. Because once I get this on, then we got to run and get him some uh, brake clean and something else. Uh, brake clean, and hopefully that'll get him by for now, so. 
All right. Note to self, next time I make something, cut the freaking corners off. Uh, am I even got it in the screen? Somewhere up there, I was dripping blood. Do I got it? Yeah. Is it still bleeding or stop? Oh, a little bloodshed before working on the Chevy. Oh, man. But, uh, getting this gasket up in there. And, uh, we're getting ready to put the pan up, so. Here, Roger, kind of film me sitting that, snapping that up in there. Pan's all nice and clean, you can see. Guys, bloodshed and all. So yeah, that's just put the okay here off. Whoa. Yeah, that's how that system works. It just screws in and after you get these in, I guess. I hope that's all. Yep, that's in place. That's in place, so I'm just following our the instructions, so well. Damn. I hate blood. Yeah. Especially when it's coming from my leaky ass. So. Alright. Well, let's get her button back up and see if we can get this thing to stay dry this time. Well, that looks better now. Boy, they really had you crank down on those bolts, it felt like. But, see, we got silicone to ooze out there. That's sealed up. And, hopefully, we're sealed because. This is sealed, then I get those valve covers gaskets changed out and get the valves adjusted. Runner again. Then we're gonna. It's just too bad I can't pull this, put that in with the exhaust on. Because, see my problem there? But I don't, I don't think I got enough clearance. I don't know, I'll get it figured out. Because right now I'm just gonna have this stock stuff in the car for now. I don't have headers and I ain't got the money to buy them, so we're just gonna go stop. And now, uh, Josh, so you guys see, let's see what you're seeing. I know. Sorry. We're gonna make sure this is tight so I don't forget it. I guess it did. Yes, it did. That's tight. That's on. Now I gotta find my new oil filter and uh, we could. Uh, Actually, what time of day is it getting to be? Ah, we better go get some brake clean so we can get his car, one of his cars back together. So, I guess we're going to make a run and uh, get some stuff then. So, all right. Well, then when we get back, that silicone should be sealed, set up, and uh, we'll fill her up with oil then, and then we'll fire this mother back up and see what happens. God, it's just a gorgeous weekend. It'd be better yet if we... This is all sealed up, then I'm going to adjust the valves. And, uh... Then we're going to put the air in the tires and... Get that Camaro. Well, then we're going to have to... Open up my little shed over here by the dog, make sure there ain't nothing in there. And all the extra car parts we'll... Put in there until we need them. I'll just get one seat bolted down for now. And, uh, because I'll have to get in there and find out where it, make sure the mice ain't chewed anything. Well, I gotta quit talking. So, here we are. We're back to working on our stuff. That other stuff I'm supposed to be doing, but weekends are mine. So, alright. I better get up and get my hands clean and we better get moving. Well, here we go. We're filling her up with oil and trying to. Our first oil change in the motor. Everything looked good inside. It's been uh, about five hours or so since we put the pan on. Had 
haven't done anything with the Valtrain yet. Kind of drives me batty with this fire cork. Here's what I put in her this time. Mag 1, 10.30. Camshaft looks, well, I zoomed in and I looked at my camshaft in there and that looks good. Okay. Uh oh, I didn't do it. So, oh yeah. Well, I guess, uh... Hey, for you. What? Flywheel. Flywheel, yep. We're gonna put the flywheel back on, get that torqued up. And then we'll crank her over, get the oil system prime, and fire up again. Here's, speaking of oil, let's see. Uh, just a second, guys, sorry. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Looks about normal. I mean, I washed the pan out so it would be clean so I could see anything. Everything's looking good. Don't let me forget to dump that. So, let's get the flywheel on and get this mother fired up and make sure she ain't leaking. Because I'm ready to tear this down. If I know I got her to where she ain't leaking, then we're going to find the coolant pan, get that all nice and cleaned and washed up. Uh. And drain this out so when I go in the car, I ain't slopping it all over. So, alright. Well, here we go, guys. Uh, where the heck I go? Where do I go with that? There, right here. Sorry about the show on the belly. I was ready to start this. Oh, there it is. Forgot where I put stuff. Alright. Turn it over until we get off there, sure. Uh, I didn't get the belt to
next. I really, really hope so. If that's the case from now on, these all I will not do a normal oil pan. Oh, you should look at the other side again. Now watch my big fat fingers. Somebody have one of the you know, fly looked up the right close. There you go.